Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about solo ads, email drops, and then we might get into banner buys um, toward the end of the video. So let's jump right into it. And I want to talk about solo ads first, and I want you to understand that there are like tons and tons and tons of solo ad providers out there, much more than you probably likely realize. You see, most people that get into the game of internet marketing, if they haven't made a bunch of money yet, then they start to think things, their own thoughts, that really just are not true. So they see things in kind of a lack type of mindset. And I know this from doing tons and tons of coaching with people. They have this lack mindset, like there's like not enough traffic out there, or that getting the traffic is so difficult that there's just not that much about much traffic. And that's that's just not true. I mean, just think about how many millions and millions, maybe even billions of people that want to lose weight, or how many billions of people want to make more money, or how many billions of people have relationship problems. I mean, it is tremendously monstrous, right? Billions of people. So when you, when it comes down to solo ads, there's tons and tons and tons of traffic out there. How much traffic do you think, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a really popular website online like Facebook gets, you know? How many how much traffic do you think like CNN gets or you know, some of these really big websites that that are that are, that are like let's just use CNN for example. So CNN is a cable network here and a news network here here in the United States and over the, around the world. So let's say CNN. Um, let's say you have an ad on CNN, a banner, and that banner is um, says, you know, here's a breakthrough new way to lose ten pounds this month before you know um, dieting or anything. Do you, how many people do you think will click that ad? I mean, the people are going to CNN for what news. They're not going there to learn how to lose weight, but they're there and how many people just also want to lose weight and they're just not thinking about it, but then they see your banner and they're like, oh, you know what? I do need to lose weight. So there's a, you could possibly get millions and millions of visitors, right? So I want you to understand that, that there are tons and tons of solo ad providers out there, despite what you might think. And once you dive into this business and start driving traffic and start buying uh, solo ad drops or email drops or email blasts, whatever title you want to give it, or renting direct mail lists and all that, when you start doing that, then the whole world opens up and you start seeing that there's just a there's just too many to choose from. But but it's interesting that you know and I got to say this again. It's really interesting that whenever I'm consulting people that haven't made any money online yet. They have this mindset that's like, where do I find the solo ads? And I understand that. When you first start out, it's, you got, you got nowhere to look. But once you start in the game, it just all opens up, okay? People pass you around. You start to ask questions. You start to find out where, where you can get other solo ads. Next thing you know, the whole world opens up, as I'll prove to you. Like, for example, in the internet marketing, make money online market, there's a bunch of Skype groups and directories and stuff where you can um, join and... Um, and just, the, just tons of tons of uh, solo ads. So I took a screenshot. I get Skype little notifications all day long. I'm in like four or five different solo ad groups, and it just started out by buying some solo ads and the next and asking around. Next thing you know, people were adding me, asking me if he, if if I wanted to be added to these private groups and stuff. And so if you look on the screen here, you see. These people saying I have ready solo ads ready to go in the next 12 hours. You know, hit me up if you want a spot. Buyers included. That means um, buyer leads, people that have already spent money. Uh, daily new subscribers, which means fresh. The next one there, 100 to 200 high quality clicks available. Uh, special sell $40. Um, you know, testimonials. And then I kind of read read it out. You know, their sites and stuff because I don't want to recommend men something I don't I don't recommend you know I don't, I don't know if these guys are any good or not um this guy says he just purchased and the, the guy says thank you and then this one says I'm taking orders for 100 click high quality solo ads all this week the last one there 100 click solos available so there's tons of traffic and this is just a small you know screenshot of the I get these all day long every day and here's another group so at the top I you know put a box over all the people that are in that group 
Um, but this, you know, there you go. Looking for two 50 click swaps. Anyone for a quick 150 swap today? Now that, they're talking about swapping with each other. So they're not even talking about buying. They're saying, I'll send you 150 if you send me 150. So you could get in there and do swaps too. Not necessarily solo ads where you buy the traffic, but you swap traffic. Like I'll send you 150 clicks if you send me 150 clicks. And then we both agree on that, and then you get some new leads, and I get some new leads, and we both help each other out. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. You do that, you know, 50 times, and you got a brand new big list that can make you a lot of money. Now, these people are in the game of solo ads, so they're providing solo ads, and that's how they're making a lot of their money. So they're just selling traffic, really, and then, you know, it's a very easy way to make money doing that, too. You know, because traffic is in such huge demand and people like to just click a button and buy traffic and get it and make money. So this is a big exploding world right now and it's pretty saturated too. And you really just got to go through these ads and start off small and kind of find a handful of them that are good quality uh, leads that brought in some sales for you and then just milk those as much as you can so let's say you 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 find you know jerry some guy named jerry has a list of um, people that want to lose weight and that's your niche and you you spend fifty dollars with jerry and it looks like it did pretty good because you measure your results well at that point what you do next is you is you say all right well this uh this work let me let me uh, go to jerry and buy another one so you buy another one and that looked like it worked pretty good now you just keep going to jerry because he's constantly getting new leads onto his list and just because someone didn't click the ad today doesn't mean they won't click the ad next week if you and if you kind of mix it up provide different offers jerry could provide you with a lot of leads and a lot of money well then now you go find susan and mary and ralph and frank and bobby and ricky and now you got a handful of people that are all really fun flowing so much traffic to you that's really all you need to make six figure income so that's what i recommend that you do when it comes to so ads is start out small find the ones that look like they're legit and then just keep keep your thumb on their pulse though because just because they're sending you good traffic today doesn't mean they're gonna send you good traffic tomorrow and there's a lot of shysters out there in this game too that will you know they're they're black hatting you they're they're sending you a bunch of crap leads They're they have some a team in the Philippines that are just sitting there entering fake email addresses and stuff onto your your list so you got to find the good ones and it may take a little bit of money to kind of sift through some to find the good ones and that's why you start asking anyone that's that you buy a solo ad from is likely in the game of doing swaps and buying solo ads themselves so you want to ask them hey do you have a couple others that you recommend and I'll keep my eye out and I'll let you know if I come across any that I recommend and you build a little bit of an alliance or relationship with the people that you're buying solo ads from and the next thing you know you start hearing the same names and then you can you know decipher through that and increase your chances of having a really good uh, solo ad buy and and so you just use common sense and and get into the game but again I recommend that you start small and then and then grow it from there okay another place you could go is safeswaps.com with a dash between safe swaps sign up there and then there's a bunch of solo ads you can buy there and you can do list swaps or swap them with other people as well Solo ad directory with Reed Florin. Um, you know, depending on the time you're watching this video, he doesn't update it all that often, but there's still some good um, solo ads uh, that you could buy, and he recommends and kind of talks about them there. Now, an another place you could go to get a really big <laughs> email blasts, and especially with other niche markets besides internet marketing or make money online. A good place you could go start is a website called nextmark.com, which has been around for ages. And it, and it started out as a great place for direct mail, but it's also a hidden gem for email blasts that most of the world doesn't know about. So uh, I guess they will now. But you could go to nextmark.com and, and really find a, a lot of gold there. So there's you'll have to look around their site. And the reason I'm not going to put the link to this mailing list finder on their site is because they've changed it so much that um you know just go to next mark and look around for the mailing list finder and then you just type in your your search for like for example i put golf there in the search box just as a niche you know you can put health or weight loss or whatever it is niche you're in then you click the big red button there and it says search 60,000 mailing lists and then boom you get this list and this is just a portion of the list 
Um, and these are all lists. So you can see at the top, it says golfers on the green. And they go to the right, it says size, 1,400,000. So that's the size of that list. Okay, now it could be that that list is just a direct mail list, but it's also possible, pretty likely, that most of these will also have email lists too. Okay, so you have to click on golfers on the green and see if it's uh, if they have email lists, or if you want to get in direct mail, which is phenomenal, you can do that too. And then it says price, 85 slash M. That means $85 per thousand. 85 per thousand leads. Now that's not the price for email. That's the price for direct mail, and you can negotiate these, by the way. Okay, so where it says type, you got direct mail, and then you got at. That usually means you got email list, and then you have a phone, which means they have phone numbers too. So there you go. All of, almost all of these have email lists. The next one, golf resorts, subscribing to golf magazines. The third one, golf enthusiasts. Go to the right. It's uh, 11 million on that list. That's pretty big. So as you can see, there's just a tremendous amount of traffic out there so i clicked on this golf enthusiast mailing list and it says over here that they have email 80 dollars per thousand if you look at where it says segments it's where the second one email 80 dollars per thousand which i think this uh, and then over to the right it says a uh, source internet online opt-in mail-in privacy confirmed opt-in so they confirmed and then it has a description usually it'll give you a bunch of demographics it'll explain and talk about what the uh what the what who these people are how much money they make you know and all this kind of stuff on average and then how to order and and, and all this so you what you would do is is click you know get more information the red button there and then someone's going to contact you or respond to you and then, or you can call them, and then that's when you can negotiate. And usually, they have so much more available for you than you even see here on the screen, uh, or on whatever results show up with next mark. So you're gonna have to talk to some people to really get out there and uh, explode your stuff. So, but as you do that, the whole world opens up, and you realize that there's just tons of traffic. Now, once you go down the rabbit hole of lists. Then, you know, lists will become be coming out of your ears, really. So once you go down that rabbit hole and start buying lists and, you know, um, renting lists and doing email blasts and all that, it just uh, just explodes on you. And next thing you know, you got so many lists to choose from. You don't even know which ones to pick because you got so much traffic being offered to you. So it just is a snowball effect. But most people never experience that because they never get their sales funnel dialed in enough at tracking or getting the game properly to start doing this. So I'm talking about real world traffic here, the real world of making money online, the real world of building a real business. But there is, if you pick the big niche markets, there really is unlimited traffic out there for you. Now, most people think they need traffic. This is what I hear all the time. I just need traffic, Eric. If I could just get some traffic, then I'd make a bunch of money. I just need traffic, man. No. The truth is they don't see that they need conversions. I've said that already, haven't I? Anyway, if you have a sales funnel and you focus on that sales funnel and you test it, you track it, you tweak it, you test it, you track it, you tweak it, you test it, you track it, you tweak it, you test it, you track it, you tweak it, continue driving traffic and test it and traffic and test it. Yeah, then you'll hit it big with traffic, okay? That's the name of the game. It's not just, hey, Eric, I need some traffic. Where can I go to get some traffic? And I'm like, here, go to this resource. And you go over there and you're like, yeah, I spent $10 and I didn't make any money, man. Why are you give me a crappy resource like that? That place doesn't work. It's a ripoff. It's a scam. Oh, that's funny. That place has made me about $155,000 this year. So, no, it's not a scam. The problem is your conversions suck. <laughs> Let's get real. So get your conversions dialed in, and then when you go to these places, I recommend they'll magically work. List brokers, let's talk about that. When when you start playing with lists, like with Nextmark or the SRDS, you know, there's just tons of lists out there. Okay, so when you start interacting with list brokers and lead brokers and suppliers and media buyers and traffic brokers and all of that. It, it just the world just opens up and you got so much traffic to deal with you're gonna have to also be on guard a lot which i think i talk about in a minute yeah here be careful <clears throat> be careful with all these sales people <laughs> they're trying to sell you their list and of course everyone's going to say that their list is the best thing since sliced bread they, they know what you're 
your buttons to push are because this is what they do for a living. So they're like, these are buyer leads. You know, last week uh, Billy Bob Brubick, you know, bought a list and he he made twenty five thousand dollars renting the same list. I'm going to give to you, and uh, you know, and Sally was able to yank a hundred thousand dollars out of this, you know, just a few weeks ago. So these are great leads, man, and all this. Yeah, they all say that. Okay, they, of course they're trying to sell you. And um, and then if you buy it and then it doesn't do very well, they could come back and say, "Wow, it must be your conversions. You know, it must be your your website wasn't very good. It must be your offer didn't gel with my list. You know, or whatever." So you got to be careful with these people because <laughs> they're in the game of getting money out of you. And um, but at the, on the other hand, you know, some of these can really make you a lot of money. So you got to be careful. You got to take start small. Start small, go small, and don't let them sell you into big media buys that you cannot afford if you're not ready. If you know that your your sales funnel and your site converts and you've tested it, and then you start buying some of these, you know, email blasts and stuff, and you start small and then it's working. And you know, these big media buys that they're trying to sell you on, um, you don't you know at that point that you don't have to do the big buys yet because the small buys are working. So you so you're the one that holds the leverage here. You're the one that has the money. You're the one that's about to buy something from someone else. So be real careful. Warning, warning, warning. Start small. Don't let them sell you into these big five, ten thousand dollar media buys if you are not ready for that. Avoid it like the plague if you can and just go small for a while until you've made enough money to where if you lose $5,000 or $10,000 on a media buy, it's no big deal because you're just gambling that money anyway to see if you hit the jackpot or not. So business requires a bit of risks in order to have some huge gains, but do, do small risks first, you know, <laughs> don't, don't, don't spend your whole life savings on, on media buys, um, or, you know, these email blasts and stuff to get started, start small, refrain from that until you just know without a doubt that your stuff is selling. So that way, if some, if you do buy a $5,000, uh, blast and it's just crap, then you could go back and you have a lot of leverage to, to negotiate, argue, and maybe get your money back or at least part of your money back. Trial buys. You want to always negotiate a trial buy whenever you buy these uh, solo blasts or you know email drops or you know rent direct mail list. Do a small test on the list first. You know don't tell if they're going to try to sell you sell you on a thousand dollar buy or a three thousand dollar buy. Just be like, hey, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start out with a couple hundred dollars to test your list to see if it even works or not. Maybe your list doesn't resonate with me. Maybe they don't like my personality. Whatever. Let let's do a test drive first. And then if it works, I'll buy more. So you do that, and here's a little tip for you. Do a second one. So if they agree to do a trial buy and say, okay, well, normally our minimum, <laughs> they'll all have a minimum. Our minimum is $1,000, and you're like, no, let's try it for $200 and see how it goes. And they're like, okay, just this once, just this once, we'll let you try it for $200. And then they do it for $200, and they come back, and they're like, how'd it work? And you're like, oh, that was great. worked well. But let's try it again for $200. And if the second one works good, then I'll put in a full order. Dangle that carrot out. They want the money. They'll do it again if they did it once, usually. Uh, if not, just tell them, oh, sorry, you're going to go somewhere else. Because there's tons of lists out there. And they agree. If they agree to let you do it again, and you do a second trial buy, another $200, and it works too, then there's a pretty good chance that if you spend $1,000, um, It'll work. Not to mention, if the list did okay with the first two buys, let's say each one was two hundred dollars, you probably have an extra thousand dollars to risk on their list anyway. That you're using house money against them. You're like, hey, I bought two two hundred dollar blasts from you. They equaled fifteen hundred dollars in profits. So I'll put a thousand dollars back into your offer. You're just giving them their money back to promote your stuff again. So you're playing with house money there. Uh, and just another warning here, they could send you to their best leads first to get you turned on to, to make a bigger buy and then turn around and give you crap leads. So you, so that's why the second order is, is, can be good, and that's why you want to start small. All right, and, and, and also through experience of doing this stuff, you start to ask them questions and call them out. You know, you're, like, you're not going to send me the buyer leads first and then turn around and send me a bunch of crap leads, right? How do I know you're not going to send me crap leads after you know when I put the full order and, or send the same list? You ask questions. You got to keep your thumb on these on these people. So yeah, it's a shark infested world out there when it comes to this stuff. So you got to start small, 
and then you get to know this game through experience and and then be protective of your ad spend be protective of your money when it comes to these ad spends and you'll be okay okay so you rent the list by the way if you're doing direct mail you have to understand that um that's not your list it's their list and you're just renting it for one run they see the list and they can tell if you hit it again and again so let's say you rent a thousand leads from golf enthusiasts and you create these postcards and you send them out to all those those people uh to they give you a spreadsheet of you know a thousand uh, names and addresses and so you mail all those people um you can't mail them again without paying or, or they'll get you so don't do that <laughs> you get one million all right and so drive that traffic to your own squeeze page so you could get them and turn them on to you turn those prospects on to you you got to warm up those prospects because they don't know you in fact let me say a word about that they don't know you they don't know who you are they're new leads so they don't know you they don't like you they don't care about you they care about themselves they don't trust you there's a reason i put that in all caps they do not trust you yet so they're not as likely to buy right off right out of the gates that's why you want to capture them onto a, your subscriber list and then turn them on to you because they don't believe you they don't trust you and they certainly don't admire you now i want to tell you humans are mostly the same like we're all kind of pretty much the same type of people you know we all share a lot of same commonalities because we're all humans right our dna is like almost exactly a match we're just a couple of things are you know make us a little bit different but what you want to do is you want to get the new leads to know you like you care about you trust you believe you and admire you so you want to turn them on to you because at first they don't like you they don't know you they don't trust you and so through your actions you want to get them to know you like you trust you care about you admire you follow you be a fan of yours if you can if you can accomplish that then they're gonna buy a ton more from you okay now so many people just just like you're starting to like me a lot am i right <laughs> turning you on to me is is kind of part of the game here so back to the traffic let me just say a thing about your niche selection though money all right so this is one of the big markets out there and i want to make sure that you understand that niche market you select is critical to your success making money niches is are, are great there's just unlimited traffic out there how to make money online how to make money with forex trading how to make money with commodities investing stocks bonds how to make money with real estate flipping houses tax liens all oh, it just goes on and on and on and on right buying gold and silver and precious metals and mutual funds and annuities and dividends and blah, 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 blah. money 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 is a big niche out there and so certainly if you're in any one of those kinds of niches you can make yourself a lot of money just playing traffic next really big niche is relationships right i mean everyone's in some kind of relationship or has problems with relationships or wants a relationship and that's an emotional thing and so there's a lot of sub niches within that um and so you can get there too health health is just huge right how to lose weight how to gain weight how to get muscles how to get six-pack abs buns of steel how to you know um you know cure diseases how to look beautiful how to stand tall how to have more confidence and uh, well that's more self de self development hobbies eh, so so like golf and stuff like that but um hobbies depend if you pick a hobby that you know people don't spend much money in that hobby then you know it's crap but if you pick a hobby that's like golf you know there's a lot of money being spent in that mar in that hobby then yeah soul spirit happiness personal development self-improvement i just put all that in one category that's a big niche too. A lot of people spend money in that because they're constantly seeking, um, you know, empowerment and awareness and the awakening. <laughs> Back to traffic again. Oh yeah, hold up. How to turn them on to you? Full blown course on its own. If I was going to teach you how to turn people on to you, so they'll buy your stuff. But here's some gifts for you. Some tips. The biggest tip of all. For you to turn your subscribers on to you. Are you ready? This is the biggest tip of all. To get them to know you, like you, trust you, admire you, follow you, buy from you, pay attention to you, open your emails, click on your links, read your emails, just follow you. The biggest tip of all to turn them on to you is to... 
give. <laughs> give, 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 give freely, give unconditionally, give warmly, love giving, give away your best stuff, teach it, give great advice, do for others, help your fellow man or woman, give, 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 give unconditionally, don't worry about the money, just give, 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 help people, help people, help people, do it unconditionally, don't worry about the money, the money will come, just help, 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 solve problems, provide needs give advice unconditionally try to help other people if you got a way for people to lose weight for example share it don't hoard it don't even sell it just go share it and people will want to pay you money to coach them or you know get more information I could walk up to you and say, here's every single way I know and every detail I know for making money online. Here it is. You do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. You know, and we talk for like three hours. And then when I'm done, I'm like, Whew, there you go. There you have it. I taught you everything I know about making money. See you later. Great. Best of luck to you. Adios. And I start walking off. You're going to be like, wow, that was really great. He taught me everything that he knows. Wait a minute. I bet he's holding something back. I bet there's more. What's the secret, right? So it doesn't matter what happens. Give your best stuff away. People will still continue to buy from you. Other ways to turn them on to you, be yourself. Be yourself with these people, okay? They're, they're, they're tired of people being fake. They want people that are real. They want people that, that are um, you know, genuine, that really want to help them. But embellish some of your noticeable personality traits. You know, like for me, I like to be a little bit on the tough love side of things, like a little bit in your face from time to time, like a coach. But here's some personality traits you can take and embellish. Are you, are you like that? Are you inspirational? Are you kind of crazy? Bring that out more. Are you controversial? Bring that out more. Are you really laid back, man? Then bring that out more. Are you a nerd? You know, kind of geeky? Then bring that out more. Are you shy? Then play that card more. Are you a surfer dude with long hair? Surfer, man. Then bring that out more. Flashy fashion person. You're into fashion. I mean, whatever. Whatever you're into or whatever your personality traits are, bring them to life more. Like embellish them more. Be that more. Because the more you're like that, the more you're going to turn people on to you. Because then you don't blend in with the noise. You're, you become more remarkable and you stand out in, in the crowd. So to stand out in a crowd, you have to be really... Um, you have to really embellish some stuff. Like, let me give you an example. I don't know if you've ever done experienced this, but like, like when I record these videos, like I'm doing for you right now, there's times where I'm just going off, and in my mind over here, and I have this microphone right in front of me, and I'm going off, and you know, if I'm at home, my my wife is, you know. Uh, in the living room or something she hears me going off or something and i feel like like even my neighbors down the street can hear me and i feel like i'm just like going off like crazy men right and then i'm like at the end after the recording's over i'm like man i really went off i'm really just i was insane at that time well then when i if i listen to myself i didn't sound like i was going off at all i sound like really laid back and i'm like man i thought i was going off i wasn't going off at all i was just raise my voice a little bit so it's amazing how much you have to go above like if i was like you gotta have tough love man you gotta be a great coach be inspirational like to me i'm yelling but to you maybe i'm not and then when i listen to the recording it's just kind of mellow <laughs> right so you gotta embellish your stuff more to stand out like i remember seeing a, a interview or something with conan o'brien who has a television show here in the united states and he was talking about how when he was developing his comedian style or whatever, that he noticed that he'd act silly and ridiculous. And like that's what he would do to try to make kids, little kids laugh. But amazingly, that same ridiculous, crazy facial um, expressions and big hair and crazy animation, body language. On, he said, amazingly, that actually made the adults laugh. So the adults are just really big kids. So if you ever watch Conan O'Brien, he's in a great example of somebody who's just embellishing. Now to him, he may be thinking that he's just being ridiculous, like schizo on stage, right? Where really when he watches it, he's like, oh, that really wasn't that much. So it's, it's amazing how that works. I hope that makes sense to you. So just embellish it more because you'll realize that 
you know, you really got to bring it to life and turn up the volume on some of the stuff in order to really stand above the noise. So rise above the noise. Now, four or five kinds of speakers or experts out there if you're going to be branding yourself and turning yourself on to people. First type of speaker, expert, teacher, um, you know, that people are going to follow is informational type person. Like I'm teaching some stuff to you right now. I'm giving you some information. That would be considered informational. So you, if I was just sitting here like, okay, and then step two is you need to go over here to next mark. And then step three is you want to enter your best niche, golf. Click search. The next thing you're going to see is a list of lists. You click here and it shows you how much they, and so that's informational. That's how most school teachers are, right? The next one is motivational. Well, you know, I take the information to add a little bit of motivation to it, right? With my voice inflections, with the way I'm talking, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm trying to, I'm talking straight to you. I'm trying to get into your soul. I'm trying to make you a little bit motivated. Motivation is temporary. Motivation is temporary. So if you watch the video and then afterwards you're like, man, that Eric guy is good. I'm going to I'm gonna kick some butt. I'm going to build a million dollar business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the next market. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, and you just feel kind of good about things. Well, that's motivational. But then like two days later, you're like, man, how do I make money online? You know, it didn't last, right? So the next one is inspirational. Well, inspirational is taking information and motivation and inspiring you so much that it lasts. You're inspired, okay? Inspired sticks with you, you know? Then the last one here is transformational. That's the, I guess that would be the goal for any expert or speaker was to, is to reach a, a point where they could be transformational, where whatever I teach you or help you with or how I motivate you and how I inspire you and the secrets I give you transforms you. So that's, that's the ultimate goal and you know to be transformational you're not going to transform every single person that you come and deal in contact with but you can transform a lot of people by being informational motivational inspirational okay that's can make a lifetime difference now next you want to toot 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 your own horn you've got to talk about you where you live who you are what you like what do you do what you did where you're going what are you doing your story what vacation you went on stories mixing indirect toots like let me give you an anthony robbins example this is one of the first examples or, or instances where i figured this out on my own but basically i was listening to a tony robbins tape like you know back in the 90s or something and he was talking about how he went to this um he was talking about sales right and he's like ah, i went to to the mercedes-benz dealership and i was talking to the salesperson i'm like you know i'm looking for this type of mercedes of this color that has these features and and then this and around this price range and then he's like the salesperson just kept trying to teach me you know more about the cars and i'm like this is my fifth Mercedes-Benz. I don't need to know about the car. I know about Mercedes-Benz. I don't need to be, you know, sold on how great the car is. This is my fifth one. And he's like, so this salesperson was just, you know, just didn't get it. He was killing the sell. And I finally got so annoyed that I left. And he had a big, you know, Mercedes-Benz sell that just left the parking lot because he was too annoying and didn't just ring up the order. So as a salesperson, no one to shut up. Well, I heard that and I was like, ah, that's pretty cool how he subtly dropped it. This is his fifth Mercedes Benz, the lucky bastard, that rich mofo, right? That's what I was thinking while I was driving around in my little beat up car back in the 90s. And I was like, wait a minute. He always does that. He's always talking about himself in an indirect way. Now, as I grew up and learned more, I've come to the conclusion that all experts who have become famous or who are trying to become famous or who are trying to turn on a group of people to them who are trying to be branded as an expert or have a brand, they start to quickly figure out that you've got to toot, toot, toot your own horn or no one's going to pay attention to you. No one's going to go toot your horn for you until you start tooting your own horn. Make sense? If you were too afraid to go out there and say, I'm the greatest copywriter in the world, Chico, then no one else is going to say that. If you're too afraid to go say, I'm a world-renowned author, then they're not going to say that about you. If you're not going to say, I'm an international bestseller, they're not going to say that about you. By the way, if you want to be an international bestseller, just get someone to buy a book from you on another part of the country. Now you're an international bestseller. 
in a different country. And what is an international bestseller? That's your own title. You can make that up. Now, if I was to say I'm a New York Times bestseller, well, that's that's different. If I'm not, I'm lying. But if I say I'm a international bestseller, I mean, what the heck does that mean? I, anyone can say that if they sold a book in Guatemala or China or something, and they live in the United States or Canada. That that I mean, you know what I mean? Anyone can say that. So uh, understand, it's all about perception. It's all about tuning your own horn. Uh, marketing is all about presentation and uh, you gotta get people to know and i'm not saying go out there and be a shyster i'm not saying that you need to be um you know a liar or anything like that or manipulative or anything like that what i'm saying is that in marketing it's all about presentation and if you want to be someone who's followed you're gonna have to start tooting your own horn you're gonna have to say hey you know what i was uh you know voted the number one you know whatever when i was in sixth grade i mean you got to toot your own horn stand out or you're gonna get lost in the mix of all the other normal average boring noise that's out there and one last thing when i include drama or in texas we say drama drama when i when i include drama or you know go up there and smack the beehive with a stick and make the bees go crazy i get tons more clicks if i'm just normal average boring eric then i don't get very many clicks but if i'm kind of smacking the beehive I get tons of clicks so keep that in mind there's tons i'm talking about tons of difference in clicks so humans are all the same i call human beings drama creatures that's why reality shows and all that do so well is because it's just about drama most of them so that's it. Thanks. On the next video, we'll talk about um, more solo ads and banner.